Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about Johnny Walker versus John Jones. Johnny Walker has been on a tear. There's been a lot of hype surrounding him, and a hypothetical match between him and John Jones is being discussed. This breakdown is per request by Tristan Vlogs, so let's get into it and see how these guys match up. Johnny Walker is a light heavyweight fighter in the UFC. He stands at six foot six inches and has an 82 inch reach. Huge dude for the division. He has a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He is currently on a nine fight win streak with eight stoppages. That's really impressive. His MMA record is 17 wins and three losses. Walker has super dynamic and impressive striking, which I'll get into a little bit later. Definitely have more to say on his striking. John Bones Jones is the light heavyweight champ of the UFC. He is six foot four and has an 84 and a half inch reach, actually a longer reach than Johnny Walker, which is interesting. Jones has an MMA record of 24 wins, one loss and one no contest, but he's basically undefeated and widely considered by many as the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Jones just defended his light heavyweight belt against Anthony Smith in a pretty one-sided fight. So the matchup between these two. First, I wanna get this out of the way. Johnny Walker is not ready for John Jones. Not yet, but he can be. And when he's ready, he may pose a lot of problems for Jones. Johnny Walker is an incredible freak athlete and moves so well for his size. This man is six foot six and can do backflips and move like a 170 pounder. He throws insane kicks that come out of nowhere. He has awesome movement. He is so composed and relaxed like he is truly having fun out there and he's only 26 years old. That's part of the reason why his striking is so good because he just flows and he's relaxed like he's having fun. Walker can possibly be champion one day. He has the physical tools and potential. There is something about Johnny Walker. At six foot six and nearly the same reach as Jones, it would be an interesting fight. A common theme with Jones is that he has a harder time with fighters who are close to his size. There may be some truth to that. I think Walker's loose, unpredictable striking style would be a good contrast to match up against Jones' measured technical style. It might throw him off when a guy is throwing flying knees at you and wild spinning heel kicks. But again, he isn't ready yet. We haven't seen how he handles being on the ground and on the bottom. Jones has a crushing top game and his elbows are nicknamed Hellbows. That says it all. John's a very smart fighter and exploits your weaknesses and where he feels you are lacking or untested. Very high fight IQ. I feel like right now if they fought, Jones would dominate Walker if he uses his full arsenal of fighting tools. If he strictly stood with Walker trading shots, then it gets really interesting. Give Walker a few more fights with higher competition, then maybe we can talk about a John Jones matchup. Regardless of the Jones matchup, I think Johnny Walker is special and 100% can be champ one day if he continues how he's going. We need to see how he handles being on the bottom or heavy grappling exchanges, also tougher competition and how he deals with heavy pressure. But it's exciting to see where his career takes him. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the segment. Feel free to comment on how you feel about Johnny Walker. What do you feel about his potential? How he matches up with John Jones? Would love to read those comments. Thanks for the support guys and visiting the channel. And until the next segment, take care.